and it didn't come with the book. We shouldn't have to. Uh, uh, yep, there. Mm, looks like a tornado in there, doesn't it? You live and you learn. Oh, yep, it was spraying up. Nope. Now what? Good job, Michelle. I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to figure this out. This isn't a regular, like, onion, onion. Everything in my house is dishwasher safe because it all goes in the dishwasher. They're stocked full of onions. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Guess what I did? We did some of this again, but I dehydrated onions that were in my garden. There's a funny story about these onions. So I have all these trays stocked full of, of the onions that I did. They're stocked full of onions. So I'm thinking, oh, what should I do? Oh wait, no, the funny story. Let me get back to the funny story. I went out and picked all these onions and I cut them up and they were so crunchy and so nice. Why didn't I film it? Because I already have a dehydrating onions video. You don't want to see two of those, do you? No, you don't. Well, anyway, I laid them all in the dehydrator nicely, had it all nice, plugged it in, and within 20 minutes, the house smelled awful. It smelled terrible. My husband got home from work. Again, can't make a video without the dog barking. Hold on, I'm gonna go shut the front door. I apologize for the interruption. Evidently the Amazon man is next door and my dog doesn't like that. I, I don't know. Anyway, my husband got home from work and he's like, oh, he just got out of his truck. I was over by my loofah looking at my loofah. I do that every day. I look at my loofah every day. He came over to give me a kiss. He says, I could smell it. I said, you could smell what? He's like, I can smell it, the onions. I can smell the onions as soon as I open my door. What are you doing with the onions? I said, they're in the dehydrator. He's like, oh my gosh. So he came in the house and 30 minutes later, he had the, my machine, this, unplugged. And he goes, how do I pick this thing up? And I went from the bottom, why? He went marching out of the house with this thing straight to the garage and it's been in there ever since. Well, it took 24 hours in the garage to dehydrate these things. I'm like, sorry. I don't have any more onions to do, so yeah. That's what I told him. No more onions. No, I won't do any more onions this year. But anyway, back to my what I'm doing. I bought this at a garage sale for a dollar. Oh, it's heavy. Look at this. For a dollar, and it has another blade and some other things that go with it. I don't, the lady just said she doesn't use it anymore, and I went, oh, well, I'll use it for a dollar? I bought this for a dollar? Let's plug this thing in. I couldn't get it to work the other day, but Rob did, so let's see if I can get it to work, because I want to make powder out of these onions. There, I moved you a little bit, but I want to make powder out of these onions, and he said, well, there's a locking thing on it, and you have to do this and this and that. I really wasn't paying attention when he told me. I probably should have done that, but we're going to... We're gonna make powder out of my dollar Cuisinart. Put all the onions in there. We're just gonna put them all in there. Probably would be easier if I had like a funnel or something. Just gonna throw them in my sink. These are dishwasher safe, by the way. Everything in my house is dishwasher safe because it all goes in the dishwasher. Although I was, one year I was little, didn't know any better then. Oh, that's even crunchy. I was at my grandma's house helping my grandma clean and do some stuff. She had these white doves from Home Interior. Have you ever had white doves from Home Interior? I put them in the dishwasher. When the cycle of the dishwasher was over, I opened the dishwasher up and the white doves were totally gone. Totally gone. My grandma liked those doves. She's like, where'd the doves go? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. The dishwasher ate the doves. It did. So yeah, that happened. Oh, another time, this is grandma story day. And I wonder how many I can put in there. Oh, I'm just gonna fill it up. I guess we're gonna see. Another time, my grandmother and I were making fudge. She had this fudge recipe that was really good. So we get all the measurements out and I'm like in middle school and she's helping me out. We put a cup, we got to talking and laughing so much. It was so much fun. Me and my grandma always had fun. We put a cup of salt in the fudge instead of a cup of sugar. And didn't realize it until we were like, you know, almost done mixing the fudge and then we tasted it and we're like, she's like, 
something is not right with this consistency. And she tasted it, and I tasted it, and we about gagged because it was so salty. Like, yeah, <laughs> we did that. Salty. It was really salty. I was very close to my grandmother. I was very, very close to my grandmother. I miss my grandmother. My grandmother had Alzheimer's. She ended up with Alzheimer's. I'm just going to dump those on the counter and swoop them off the counter. The counter is clean. I wash my countertops like once a day with alcohol. I don't know if I should do that or not, but I do. My grandmother had Alzheimer's. She lived 10 years with that. And that was a very sad thing to watch. So if any of your family members have Alzheimer's, it's sad. It's just sad. So my advice would be to answer their questions so they don't get confused. And if they think that their husband is standing outside the door, standing guard for them, let them believe that. Don't say, oh no, he died a long time ago. Because they're going to grieve that over and over and over again. Every time they mention him and you say, no, he died a while ago, they're going to grieve they're going to grieve. So just say, yep, he is and you're safe. He's standing out there. He's looking out for you. He wants you to go to sleep. They'll go to sleep. Worked for my grandma and my aunt every time. Okay. Got my machine and it has an on and a pulse. So we're going to do, I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to figure this out. Is this lid lock? Probably should have paid attention to Rob. Huh? No, that can't. I don't know. I'm going to do the should have paid attention to Rob now. Plugged in. He said something about a safety something or other. It had to be. Here, well, let me try this. Oh, there. Maybe that. Nope. Jeez, I'm going to have to call him at work and say, hey, remember that Cuisinart thing? How do we get that to work again? Yep. He had the thing working. Maybe I need to get my glasses on. Oh, 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 maybe. Oh, yep. I just didn't push the lid far enough. Okay. There's a locking position on here, evidently. Okay, ready? Looks like a tornado in there, doesn't it? We're just gonna leave it on. I'm not pulsing, we're gonna leave it on. All right, let's look at it. It doesn't seem to be doing much now, does it? To the bottom it does. Maybe if I pulse it, it'll mix it. In. Powder. Do I have too much stuff in here? Look at that. That's just going in circles. Not doing anything. Reason art, I don't know. I think you're going to lose on this job. Not, I'm not impressed. God forbid I take the lid off and look. I won't be able to get it back on. I'm really not impressed with this. And it didn't come with the book. Can't read a book if it doesn't have one. Maybe you get what you pay for. I paid a buck for this. I have a blender and I did um, other stuff in the blender. What did I do in the blender? Cilantro I did in the blender and it made it like powder. When I do that, there's nothing like on the bottom and the blade is on the bottom. And all the onions fly to the top like a tornado. I think I just put too many onions in here. But why is the container this big? Shouldn't it hold that, Betty? I thought for sure this would just whoop it right up. All right, I think this is good. Now, to get this thing off, here we go. Onions everywhere, it does smell good. Okay. Here's what we have. Some of it's kind of powdery and then some of it's bigger. I think I want it ground a little better. Let's get the blender out and see what happens I got, there. I got my Oster out. We're gonna try the Oster blender and see how it does. We shouldn't have, uh, uh, yep, yeah, there. Mm. So you see the consistency now. It's got chunks in it and stuff. Let's try it in the Oster. And I'm gonna, to have a fair result, I'm gonna put all of this, all of it in here. We're gonna put the lid on it. All right, I did the pulse on the other one. So we're gonna try the pulse on this one and see which one does better. It has preset. Maybe I'll just hit that. We'll just see what it does. I can already see this is getting powdery. Yeah, I can already see that this is getting powdery. Let me give it a little shake. I think I just had too much in here. That's all. You live and you learn, right? You live and you learn. So let's do this again. It was spraying up. 
right, let's see. Let's check it out. Oh, look. I would say it's a lot more pottery than the Cuisinart. Was that a fair review? I don't know. Maybe I should do like something else in my Cuisinart. A fair comparison, I mean. I started it in the Cuisinart, but it's an old Cuisinart that I got for a dollar. And I finished it up in my Oster and I'm liking my Oster better. My Oster took it down farther than what the Cuisinart could have. Oster is gonna win this round. Now, I'll do something else and do in both and see what happens. But I like my Oster. All right, let me go get the canning jars and let me show you this. I'm going to pour it in this jar. That's my plan here. Here's a batch that I just dehydrated. That's what it normally looked like when I just dehydrated it and cut it down. But we're going to pour the onion powder into here without making a mess. We're going we're gonna to do this. You ready? Okay. I don't want to over. And I probably should label these jars. And I might have to, now what? Oh, I don't, I did just perfect. Good job, Michelle. The rest I'll give to my mom. But I have onion powder, which is green. That's surprising, isn't it? This is like the onion, the long onions. This isn't a regular like onion, onion. It's a long onion. There, there we go. If you like my video, Hashtag let's dehydrate. Peggy and Andy over on Page Family Home said they're doing a hashtag. Hashtag let's dehydrate. If you wanted to hydrate something, label it hashtag let's dehydrate. All one word. Let's see how many times I can say that. Hashtag let's dehydrate. All one word. And Peggy will put it in the playlist. Now, if you make a video, let her know. Or comment on one of my videos, comment on one of her videos, comment on one of Angie's videos from Life and More Reloaded, and we'll get a hold of Peggy. I also have another tag, hashtag Let's Instant Pot, if you want to put a video in there. Or we have hashtag Let's Air Fry, Life and More Reloaded's doing that. And we have hashtag Let's Can. All right, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.